Hi, welcome to the next Gantt Tech video. This video is going to show you how to create your student portfolio page, which will be the place where you turn in all your work throughout this year. The portfolio page we've created for you to turn your work in for two reasons. For you to have a place to showcase your work. You can showcase your work to potential employers or even on your college application. So everything you do throughout the school year, you're going to turn in on your portfolio. And at the end of the year, you'll have a place to show all of your work to get hired as a high school student um, for your correct um, course. So let's show you an example. This is my completed app design portfolio. You can see it has a picture of me. It has a paragraph about me. It has a paragraph about my interests. I have some questions here. I have information about the course that we're taking, app and game design. Then also I have a video. Um, that relates to the course. And lastly, I have information about Ronald Reagan to Route Senior High School, which is our school. So left side, you can see my apps, first grading term through the fourth, my projects, first through the fourth, reflections, first through the fourth, and substitute days, first through the fourth. So everything you're going to do, this is a website. Everything you do throughout this year, you would turn it in on in the correct grading term. And at the end of the school year, again, you're going to use this to potentially get hired. Um, or in your college application to show all that you know. So let's create our portfolio page. So let's go to Gantech. You can see when you log in, you have your name, you have access to your email and your Google Drive. I show you how to set up your Google Drive in the other video. Make sure you set you watch that video as well. But let's go to portfolio. What we're going to do is going to create a new portfolio page. So I'm going to come here. Click on create. Now I want to use the Gantt Tech template. You can see right now highlighted is blank template. I have to go browse for it. So I'm going to go here, click on browse. I'm going to type in Gantt Tech. Do a search. You can see I teach a bunch of different classes. There's a bunch of different portfolios. Make sure you choose the correct portfolio template. If not, your portfolio will be incorrect. So if you're in computer science, you should choose computer science. Or if you're in global logistics, you should choose logistics. Or if you're in digital media, one, two, or three, you should choose this one. Or lastly, if you're in app or game design, you should choose the last one. The portfolio example I showed you was app and game design. So I'm going to show you a different one. Let's do digital media. So this is my digital media one, two, and three students. That's my Photoshop, my Dreamweaver, my Photoshop, my Flash students. So I'm going to select this. You can say this template is for Gantt Tech class students enrolled in digital media. This is an example of the portfolio. And I can go ahead and push select. You can see now it says Gantt Tech digital media student portfolio. The name of your site is going to be your name, your full name, Jamie Gantt. Portfolio. Now, if you're in Photoshop, let's just say, let's do that. We're going to do Photoshop portfolio. If you're in Dreamweaver, put web design portfolio. Or if you're in Flash, put Flash portfolio. So you should have Jamie Gantz Photoshop portfolio as the name of your site. When you do that, that also becomes your URL, sites.google.com, whatever you type in here. Now, there could be an error if your name, if this name is already taken, you might have to change this, or if it's too long, then you might have to change this box later on. We'll see. If you get an error, the name is too long, 30 characters, or this this place is not ex does not exist because it's already taken, you can add 2016 to the end of it. But we'll see. Right now, I'm just going to leave it as that. Are any themes? I can select whatever I want. Let's just say I select that. Again, you, it's your choice. The very bottom, I'm going to put I'm not a robot. And then I'm pretty much done. I'm using my digital media student portfolio. I have my name, Photoshop portfolio. And actually, I'm going to do that 2016 at the end. See if I can create that error for you. And then I'm going to push create. You can see, sorry, your site name must be between 6 and 30 characters long. So that I, don't, I still want it to say Photoshop portfolio here. That just means I have to change it here. So I'm going to change this to 
portfolio. But the name of the class is actually digital media. So I'm just going to say DM1. And I still have DM1 portfolio 2016. I still have my name. And again, this is my web address, and it has to be between 6 and 30 characters. So when they look at my site, it's going to say Jamie Gantz Photoshop portfolio. Or if I wanted to, I could say Digital Media 1 portfolio, right? Here, down here, it changed it to Digital Media 1. And let's see if that works. Let me come back down. Push, I'm not a robot. Anytime you get an error, you have to make sure you verify that again. Push Create. Again, my site name is too long. I'm going to push I'm not a robot. So let's come back in here and change this from Digital Media to DM. One. So that's just my web address. So I have DM1 Portfolio 2016. Here I have Digital Media 1 Portfolio 2016. And now let's push Create. You can see it's creating my site. So the name of the site will still be the same. I might have to play with my website address because your portfolio is an online website that you can share with anyone. So it's trying to create my site. And when it does, the first thing you're going to do is update your home page. Because it's a template, we want it to be actually updated with your content. So you see it's created my site. If you look at it, left side, this is why I said you have to select the right one. So for digital media, they have an industry certification section. If you computer science doesn't. But you can see my projects, my work, reflections, substitute, and they have each grading term. First grading term, second, third. That's where you're going to turn in all of your work. First thing you're going to do on your portfolio, obviously, is update your home page. I give you some content, like the logos, but we want to edit this page to make it our own. So click on edit. If you read this, this site is a template for Digital Media One. The first task is to update the home page. So we don't need this. I can delete that. So you can see, welcome to your student name portfolio. Your name should be your name. So I'm going to type Jamie Gant here. Post an introduction about yourself. Well, I had that from my other portfolio. I'm just going to copy and paste it over. Let me grab that other portfolio page again. That was my app design portfolio. That's this one. I'm just going to copy it over. Obviously, you should type in your own. So here, and it also says include a picture of yourself. So here, I posted in my information. My interests, I already have. I've created this. I'm going to copy this over as well. You can see here, I'm going to go ahead and paste that in. My computer knowledge. Again, I've already done this. And you can see... You're going to write your answer there. So I'll do that's your answer. It goes there. Your answer goes there. Your answer goes there. Then we're going to deal with the Gantech class description. So this is Digital Media 1. I'm going to go to Digital Media 1 here. Make sure you select the correct class. If you're not in Digital Media 1, go to Digital Media 2 or App Design. The very top of that page you could see here it has course description. I'm going to select all of this and I'm going to copy it. Come back over here. Gantech class description. Change this to the name of your class. Digital Media 1. And here I'm going to paste in that description that we just copied. And then down here, you have Adobe Certified Associate Exam. Insert the Adobe Certified Associate videos provided for you. Now, if you're in app design, there's a different video. But I give you the video links on the Gantech class page. And you're simply going to insert those YouTube videos. Uh, I have the two videos here. Here's the one, and here's the other one. So I need this link. And again, I give you the links on the Gantech class page. Make sure you go to our class page and grab the appropriate link. So here, I'm going to delete this. 
I'm going to do insert, and this is to show you how you can insert videos on your page, YouTube. I'm going to paste that in, and I'm going to click save. So that's one video. Do another one. Insert YouTube, and this is the second link that I give you for your class page. Paste that in. I click on save. So I have my two videos there. Really simple. All we did is update information about you, your interest, you answer these questions, you change this to the name of the page, you grab this from our course description on our class page. And then also on our class page, I gave you the video or videos to insert underneath the, the appropriate section. The last part is we need to update this picture. It shouldn't be this silhouette guy. It should actually be a picture of you. So how do you update your portfolio page? Any images, you simply click on it. And you can see this little flyover menu here. It allows me to change the orientation of the picture. It allows me to make it small, medium, large. It also allows me to turn wrapping on. So the reason the text is wrapped around this image is because text wrapping is on. You can see that moves it down, but we have it on. Or if I want to get rid of this guy at the very last one, I can click on remove. So I have removed that. Now I want to put a picture of myself. So you need a picture of yourself. Um, either use the class camera. <coughs> um, in class, uh, all the pictures that we've taken, you're going to use that picture here. For this instance, I'm going to Google myself. Images, let's say I use this picture. I'll save it. I'm going to save it to my desktop for right now. But again, you all will be using the photos um, from the class camera as I walked around and took a picture of each person. Um, you'll use those photos and I'll save those on the shared information for you to access. So I insert my picture, lastly, insert image. I saved it on my desktop. You can see Jamie Gant here. I go ahead and insert that image. I click OK. I want to wrap my text, so I turn turn wrapping on. And I might want it a little bit bigger, so I make it medium, like that. And with that, we have our home page and our portfolio page set up. The YouTube videos don't look like they work. This is Intentionally, once you save the page, you'll actually see them. If I wanted to change it, I can click on settings and change it. But those are fine. So once I click on save, you can see my portfolio page is Jamie Gant DM1 Portfolio 2016. This is how it looks. You can see the videos are now showing up that go along with this. And at the very bottom, I have Ronald Reagan Doral, Senior High School. And I kind of like this, want this wrapped around, so I'm going to go back in, edit it, and let's wrap, turn this on, that way Ronald Reagan is wrapped in between around that information. And I can, let's center this guy, oops, that's fine. So we can customize our stuff, I have two images, Ronald Reagan on the left, I have an image of our school and this on the right. I click on save. And I like that a little bit better. So this is your first task, creating your portfolio page. Again, your portfolio page is going to hold all your work on the left side. The home page should be all about you. You update that. And now you simply need to share this with me. And you can share it with anyone. The way to do that, you can see right here, you could copy this link and email it to someone, but they have a share button here. Click on share. You can share it on Facebook, Twitter, your Google Plus. I'm going to email it, so I'm going to click on this. It'll open up a email for you to email it. You need to email it to me so I have access and you have Gantt class at Gmail is my email. Then you're going to put your name in it, Jamie Gant. Again, this is not Jamie again. I'm going to put your name so you don't confuse it. Put your actual name. 
period one, the class, digital media one, portfolio. And then you're going to send. You can see it's already listed inside of here. And you're emailing it to me. You would do the same process if you wanted to email it to anyone else. If you wanted to email it to a potential employer, you would simply click on that, type the employer's email address here, and you can share it to them. To get back to my page, I simply click back to Digital Media One, and here is my professional portfolio where you're going to save all your work throughout this course this year. This has been the video on how to. This has been the video on how to create your portfolio page. Remember, your portfolio page you will save everything on.